This video will show you how to modify the width, height and text within the bands of the profile view. In this model file I have an alignment corridor profile view surfaces assembly created. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to modify these bands down here. The text height there is approximately 5 mil high which is too big and also the height and width of the box here of the bands is also too big. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to create a new profile view and I'm going to add in additional bands down here that represent the geometry of the alignment. To do that, I go to the Home tab, I select Profile under the Create Design panel and I select Create a Surface Profile. <coughs> Click on Create Surface Profile, I just want to make sure it's on the right alignment, which it is. It has all the data in there that I want to see, so I'm just going to click Create in Profile View. Then another dialog box will appear, the Create Profile View appears. And what I want to do is I want to navigate to the Data Bands section, so I'm just going to left click on Data Bands on the panel on the left. And in here I want to set the band, so I'm going to click on this Select Band Set. And the band set I want to go with is Levels and Geometry Detail. Now you can see all the information that it will include in here. And if I select the preview button, it'll give me, it'll show me also a preview of what that information is. So I'm going to go OK to this and I'm just going to go to click profile view. Now you'll notice I didn't set any of the information within the profile view. So the majority of the information in the bands below the profile view will probably be incorrect. So basically the only difference between these two profile views is just the band data underneath it. This one to the south here has more information. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to modify the width of these bands and the height and also the text as well. To do that, you select the profile view. And again, to select the profile view, make sure you don't select the text in here, the labels for um, the chainage, that you actually select the box. Select in the box of the band, and then we're just going to go to profile view properties. Selecting profile view properties, we're then going to select profile view properties. This dialog box then will appear and we want to navigate to the bands section. Within the bands section, we're going to modify the style of all the bands that we have. Select station. And then we have this ellipse button, or not ellipse button, but an edit button at the end of the cell. Left click at the edit button at the end of the cell and this box appears. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to modify this style. So I'm going to click on the edit button here. And then your profile data band style dialog box will appear. In here, then we're going to navigate to the band details. And within the band details, we have a title text. So our title text is this information that we're seeing in here in our bands. The layout then, that is our band, so we can see that the height of the bands is 25 mil, the text box is 100, and so on. What we want to do is we want to change this band height. I'm going to change it from 25 to 15, so I'm going to type in 15 there. And also I'm going to change the text box width from 100 to 50. Then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to modify the height of this text here. So click on Compose Label. Left click on Compose Label. You get another dialog box appearing, which is your label style composer. And in here, we are navigating to the tab of layout. Select the tab of layout and you'll see that the title heading there is actually seven mil high, so that's too big. What we're going to do is we're going to make the title of the bands here a height of 3.5. So 
Type in 3.5 into the text height, press apply, and you will see all that information will update. Go OK. This information to the right over here, that's for the labels and, and ticks within the right hand side of our band, so right below our profile. I'm not going to modify any of that information in there. I'm just going to go OK. And then I'm going to go OK to this box. I'm not going to close down this box just yet, but I can see that that has now updated the change there, the change band. And we have to do the exact same for all the rest of the bands that we have. So I'm just going to do the second one here for existing level. So left click on existing level, click on the edit button within that cell at the very end. Then we're just going to modify this existing level profile to click on the edit button and then in here again what we want to do is three things we want to change we want to change within the band details tab band height to 15 the text box width to 50 and then we're going into the compose label and we're changing the text height from 7 to 3.5 and go OK, go OK, go OK, and press Apply. And you'll see now that this will update exact same as the change. And that's how you modify the bands, the heading of the bands, so that they looked, that they will look more presentable.